Here we go, Vince. You ready? I'm ready. I'm, I've heard Let's good things, man. Heard good things? Cheers. I need the bus that helps, so. Yeah. It's good enough. It's really good <laughs> off. <laughs> what the hell, man? Mm. What the? Oh, my goodness. Good consistency as well. I'm not running. Oh, it's good. That's actually the closest thing that I have ever had. Protein powder, not protein powder, to like liquid chocolate. Mm. That is liquid chocolate. Yeah, that's good. Oh, oh really good. You know what is even better? Well, I'm shooting a raw review on this this week. There is no question about it. Rule one, make some of the highest quality and best tasting protein powders on the planet. They've just released their new protein. It's called Source 7. We're about to take a deep dive in this all new raw review. Let's dive straight into the macros of this all new protein powder. We're dealing with a big scoop here. One scoop is 41 grams and there's 22 of those 41 gram scoops in the small tubs and 55 serves in the big tubs of Source 7. In terms of the calories and the macronutrients, it is a little higher in calories. So we're talking about 170 calories per serve for the chocolate flavor. It does vary a little bit across the flavors. And in terms of where those calories are coming from, fat, you're gonna get four and a half grams, so about 11% by weight, of which saturated fat is 1.5 grams or 4% by weight. Carbohydrates are 10 grams in a 41 gram scoop, so about 24% carbs, of which five grams or 12% are sugar. And then the protein, of course, what you take in the Source 7 for, 22 grams in each and every scoop, regardless of the flavors, they keep that consistent so it's about 54% protein by weight. In terms of where the protein is coming from, so Source 7, as the name suggests, it's seven sources of protein and they're quite far spread. So we're dealing with whey protein concentrate as the primary source, then whey protein isolate, then native whey protein isolate, which is an interesting source of protein. It's actually whey protein isolate that completely avoids the cheese making process, hence why it's called native uh, whey protein isolate. So isolated whey protein straight from skim milk. We've then got whey protein hydrolysate or hydrolyzed whey protein. We've got micellar casein, which is super slow digesting. We've got milk protein isolate, which yields both whey and casein protein. And then finally, we've got a vegan source protein in here as well, a little bit of pea protein to round out the seven sources. In addition to that, we've got some creamer in here. Obviously, we've got some flavors in here. We've got some thickeners. Rule one use cellulose gum and xanthan gum as their thick in the source seven. We've got some instantizing agents to make sure it mixes very, very well. Combination of soy and sunflower lecithin. And then finally, we've got our sweeteners, a combination of sucralose and ACE K. In terms of how it tastes and how it mixes, it comes in six flavors. One of them, the pistachio flavor, is exclusive to the US only. So in Australia, we're dealing with five flavors. All of them are uh, gelati inspired, or what Ruwan are calling the gelato series. So let me talk you through them one by one. It comes in chocolate, it comes in vanilla, it comes in cookies and cream. We also have a choc peanut butter flavor, and finally, it comes in a salted caramel flavor. Infamous MJ's taste and mixability test about to go down. I have my personal tub here the chocolate flavor, rule one, source seven, bust this open. We've got an MJ shaker with a turbo ball, ready to go, eight ounces of water in there. I've got a glass here as well. So I'm gonna take one scoop here, and I will let you guys know that a bang on level scoop, which is gonna look perfectly like that, is bang on 41 grams. So rule one, do not miss when it comes to their scoop volume and scoop weight. So I'm gonna take that 41 gram scoop, I'm gonna drop it in my eight ounces of water. A few flicks of the wrist. I'm gonna show you guys how it mixes. And the all important, how it tastes. I want you guys to take a second and appreciate the thickness of this protein. 
That's with water, that's not with milk. That's just with water, cold water, straight out the fridge. One scoop in eight, eight ounces. It's almost like, it's almost like liquid gelati in terms of the thickness. And now the taste. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's actually ridiculous. It's actually, I don't, I don't actually, I don't have words. I don't, all I'm going to do is continue drinking. It's the closest thing to liquid Cadbury dairy milk chocolate that I have ever tried in a protein powder. And I've tried a lot of chocolate flavored protein powders. That is absolutely bang on. The vanilla is the closest thing that I have tried to, it's almost like, like, McDonald's soft serve ice cream that has just melted a little bit and is in liquid form and you're drinking that, it is unbelievable. The cookies and cream has real cookie pieces in it for a little bit of crunch. They, rule one, have absolutely now these flavors. They are very true to like ice cream, gelati inspired flavors. And across the board, guys, these are some of the best protein flavors that I have ever tried. So good. The all important versatility. Now we already know that Source 7 is incredible as a drink, as a shake. Let's see how it stacks up as a sludge, as a high protein oats and as a pancake. When it comes to the sludge, it excels. It really excels, which is interesting because a lot of proteins that are quite nice to drink in terms of flavor and texture, when you condense them down into a more concentrated sludge, sometimes the flavor is a little too intense and sometimes the texture is almost a little bit too thick. But Source 7 as a sludge with some cereal and some blueberries on top, the texture is amazing. The flavors, it, the chocolate literally, literally is like liquid molten chocolate. The vanilla is, is, it's McDonald's soft serve. That's really the only way to explain it. It excels as a sludge. If you wanna use it in high protein oats or high protein creamy rice, once again, the flavors are really, really good when they're condensed down into that version of, of consuming protein and the texture really does kind of come into its own, especially when you add the heat to it from the high protein creamy rice or, or your high protein oats. And then this, this actually could be the star of the show as a pancake. Uh, if you take your, your high protein oats, you add some egg whites to it and you cook it up as a pancake with some blueberries and some maple syrup on top. No words, no words. I can't wait for you guys to try Source 7 as a high protein pancake. So what about the effects and the side effects? Well, when it comes to effects, as any protein powder is going to, it's gonna help increase your daily protein intake. And as you increase your daily protein intake, it's gonna help with repair and recovery of all kinds of tissue, but specifically if you're participating in weight-based, resistance-based training, it's gonna help with repair and rebuilding muscle tissue. The seven protein sources as well are gonna provide a nice staggered release protein. So we've got protein sources that digest very quickly, the whey protein isolates, the hydrolyzed whey, right down to the sources of protein that digest quite slowly, in particular your casein protein. So it's gonna help increase your daily protein intake and provide a nice staggered release of amino acids into the bloodstream to help promote repair and recovery of broken down muscle tissue. When it comes to the side effects, because it is primarily whey protein and in particular whey protein concentrate as the first protein source, it is going to contain lactose. So if you are heavily lactose intolerant, it may cause a little bit of gastrointestinal upset. It may cause a little bit of an upset stomach, especially when you add the creamers in there, when you add the gums in there, it is quite a heavy protein formula. So it's not going to be super fast digesting into your gut out of your gut, it is gonna hang around in there for quite some time. So if you are sensitive to slow digesting proteins or sensitive to lactose, you might wanna be careful how often you consume your source seven protein. And so the all important question, what does it compare to and how does it stack up? I'm gonna go straight for the elephant in the room because it's quite obvious that rule one have gone after BSN Synthesis 6 
with Source 7. So let's see how Source 7 compares to Synthesis 6. When it comes to price and value for money, there's a few different sizes going on here. And Synthesis 6 comes in a small tub, a big tub, and a big bag, whereas Source 7 is just the small tub and the big tub. Across all the different sizes, the best value for money is actually Source 7 in the big tubs. It comes out at $2.18 per scoop, which across all the sizes of all the different variations across both products, is the best value for money. When it comes to the macronutrients, Source 7 macros are slightly better than Synthesis 6 macros. There's less fat in there, there's less carbs in there. Both of them do contain the same amount of protein per scoop. When it comes to the sources of protein, Synthesis 6, as the name suggests, six sources of protein, and they are staggered release protein sources. Source 7, as the name suggests, has the extra source of protein, not six, seven sources of protein in the Source 7. There are some differences though. Source 7 uniquely contains whey protein isolate, whey protein hydrolysate, and pea protein, whereas Synthesis 6 doesn't have those three proteins. However, Synthesis 6 does contain calcium caseinate and egg albumin, which are not in Source 7. When it comes to the texture, both of them have a super creamy texture. It's, it's really comparable across both. And when it comes to versatility, they're both super versatile as well. I personally think that Source 7 probably cooks a little bit better than Synthesis 6, but both of them sludge very well. Both of them are exceptional in high protein oats and high protein creamy rice, and both of them do cook exceptionally well as well. And then when it comes to flavors in the Australian market, because it does vary internationally, in the Australian market, Synthesis 6 is available in four flavors, whereas Source 7 is available in five, so it does have that one extra flavor. They both have your conventional flavors, and then they both have their unique flavors as well. However, Source 7 do have the gelati-inspired flavors across the range. So who is it best for? Quite simply, Source 7 is gonna be best for anybody who's looking to increase their daily protein intake and isn't too concerned about the extra calories, the extra fats and the extra carbs in their protein powder. And really, if you're looking to do that with a delicious, versatile, good value for money protein powder, Source 7 is gonna be right up your alley. Finally, price and value for money. Now, Source 7 comes in the two size tubs. We've got the small tubs and the big tubs. In the small tubs, it's $69.95 for the 22 to 23 serves. It breaks out at just over $3 per serve. In the big tubs, this is where it gets really good value for money. You're talking at $119.95 for the 55 to 58 serves. It breaks out at just over $2 per serve, which puts it right up there with some of the best value for money whey protein blends on the market. You really can't go wrong with the Source 7. And here's a little kicker for you guys, viewers of this raw review. Score 10% off your first tub of Source 7 online at mjfitness.au. When you use the code, wait for it, delicious, it's appearing on screen at the moment. Use that code, save 10% off your first tub of Source 7. If I was you, I'd be grabbing a couple of tubs, maybe a chalk of vanilla, maybe throw a salted caramel in there. You really can't go wrong. You guys are gonna absolutely love these flavors. Guys, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Subscribe to the MJ Fitness YouTube channel. Turn your post notifications on on whatever device you are watching this video on, whether it's your cell phone, your mobile phone, your smart TV, your desktop PC, it doesn't matter. Hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all these new raw reviews and everything else we've got happening here on the channel. Guys, that is MJ's raw review on the all new Rule One Proteins Source 7 Protein. And I'm coming to you from MJ Fitness dot a u this is actually going to be like full raw what if i hate it no nah, you can't be all <laughs> <laughs> spit it out you're not using the biggest vanilla guy no not at all yeah that's nice it's good yeah. that's very good it's literally it's mcdonald's soft serve um it's melted mcdonald's mm. soft serve that's yeah. what I like I get from it. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Cow. Mm. It's got like so that. good. Mm. So good. It is like Macca's here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's a wild.
I feel like it's, it's reminiscing a specific sort of caramel for me. That's caramel. I can't figure out what it is. Yeah, I don't know. Man, who's that?